Virgo, welcome to your monthly check-in for January 2021. I'm so happy to be incorporating these videos. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It is wonderful. We're expanding, we're growing, and I am loving it. Okay, now the monthlies, all right? That could be a smorgasbord of love, career, sexuality. It could be any and all. The whole point is that it's a monthly overview, all right? So let's take a look what's going on. Let's see, I had a good combination of that with uh, Gemini, absolutely. They had both love and career stuff come up. Pisces pretty much had love stuff, you know. All right, what's going on for, and by the way, these go faster, they should, okay? Not nearly as extensive as the love readings. What's going on for Virgo, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Quite possibly a new sense of path and, pathway of uh, passion. King of Pentacles, feeling good and secure. Excellent. Let's see, what's going on? What are the current energies, please, for Virgo? What are the current energies, please, for Virgo? What's currently going on for Virgo, please? Blockage. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm seeing a great deal of transformative energy as we enter the new year, and not just new year, but new decade. It's pretty common. What's going on, please? What's the current energy, please, for Virgo? What is the current energy, please, for Virgo? Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Strength. Mm. Card of Leo, respectively. Let me know if you're dealing with Leo. Having pride, having strength, perhaps having too much pride or not enough. Too much strength or not enough. An ability to be vulnerable, because it takes strength to be vulnerable. Okay. Doesn't tell me too much yet, but uh, what is important to Virgo at this time? What does Virgo need? Okay. Queen of Cups, get in touch with that feeling. Okay, okay. Some of y'all might be holding on to something that is in accordance to the strength of personal conviction, but your feeling is telling you to do so, possibly your intuition. Queen of Cups, some of us are getting in touch with our feelings, and it's taking you strength to do this. Okay, it could be a matter of pride as well. Okay, what is important to you at this time? Understanding your own sense of feeling. Possibly following your intuition. What are the fears, please, for Virgo? What are the uh, fears, please, for Virgo? Fears, please, for Virgo. Will my wish come true? Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Will my wish come true? Mm -hmm. You're pulling up a lot of concepts here, honey. This is a lot of concept work for you. My fears, will my hope and wish come true? We'll see. What is supporting Virgo at this time? What is supporting Virgo at this time? What is supporting Virgo at this time? King of Wands, more Leo energy, more Leo energy there, King of Wands. It could be Aries Sag, but uh, kings often represent the fixed signs. What is supporting you? Your own, it, either you have someone who is close to you that represents the King of Wands, okay? Uh, someone who good looking, confident, passionate, creative, protective. There's a protective quality here. It's interesting. It could be you supporting yourself. I do believe that that's another energy, though. What are the obstacles Virgo faces at this time? Man, you're just pulling up courts and court cards and majors. Seriously, Virgo, what's going on? What are the obstacles, please, for Virgo at this time? I need to clarify so I can get a stronger direction of what we're doing here. Uh, what are the obstacles, please, for Virgo? Making things work. Three of Pentacles. How to make things work. Mm-hmm. Future and outcome. Show me that future and outcome, please. Show me the future and outcome, please. Queen of Wands. Goodness. Okay, I believe you happy. <laughs> Let's take a look at that underlying energy. Yeah, personal sense of happiness. Four of Wands. Something to do with your home and or partner. Possibly a combination of the two. This is your underlying energy for the whole thing. So, it could be that you are just... You know, it could be that you're in a very happy, loving, passionate relationship and you just, you're not looking for anything to fuck that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that could be it. Uh, this is a lot of strength in this. There's passion here. There's love here. There's hopes and wishes tied to this whole thing. You know? Oh my God. Are we talking like next phase stuff, Virgo? Is that what I'm saying? Am I saying next phase stuff in relationships for you? Could be. Let's break it down, honey. Let's break it down. It has so much promise and potential on it. What's going on, please? What's currently going on for Virgo? Show me the best possible clarification for Virgo. What's going on? What's going on for... Come on, tidy up. Tidy it up. What's going on for Virgo, please? What's going on for Virgo, please? Show me strength. What is the current energy here? Strength. Why is that here? Oh, 
Called it. <laughs> Ooh, y'all dating. <laughs> somebody dating, somebody in a relationship, and there's a great deal of romance tied to it. Hopefully, it's stars in the sky and not water under the bridge. Okay? Hopefully. All right. What else about strength, please? There's more to that story. What else, please? What else, please? What else? Why else is strength here? With strength. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Some of y'all dealing with Leo. Straight up. Or you got Leo in your chart, and it's pretty damn strong, too. I'm talking like moon rising stuff. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all don't, don't, like, shoot the messenger, man. I ain't trying to deal with that. I'm just saying some of y'all working really hard on a second chance with somebody because you don't want it to be over. Could be the reverse energies, of course. Strength, judgment, and the fool. I'm just saying there's something here you don't want to be over. You want it to go to next level. There's a great deal of pride here. Attachment, strength of conviction. Okay. Somebody might be willing to be the fool to try to bring this back together to make it work. Okay, it requires vulnerability. The strength to be vulnerable. You know what I mean? The strength to express your romantic interest. I still think about you. I still love you. Okay. Because I'm not seeing judgment. Here's a missed opportunity. I'm seeing it is it will be missed if you don't take a chance. It's requiring somebody's strength to do this. You, they, the both of you. The both of you being vulnerable. That would explain why it's important for you to get in touch with your feeling space at this time. Show me the Queen of Cups, please. Show me the Queen of uh, Cups, please. Show me the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? What is important to Virgo at this time is the getting in touch with your own feeling. Okay? It, it requires you to be vulnerable, honey. I'm saying that. You know, it's going to require you being vulnerable, and this is a struggle for you. Okay? Show me the Queen of Cups. Show me that Queen of Cups, please. Whatever this is, you don't want it to be over. Let's put it that way. Show me that Queen of Cups, please. Yeah, hanged man. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. As I said that, you don't want this to be over. Hanged man looking at death. Scorpio, let me know if you're done with Scorpio. Um, yeah, you don't want this to be over. It feels like there is a, it's looking like you're looking at an ending, but it hasn't happened yet. You need to get in touch with your emotionality. Somebody has withheld their emotions much too long. <sighs> their love, their passion, their interest for this person, for some reason has been withheld. I don't know why. Okay? It could be the other person. Reverse energies as you see fit. Okay? Um... Somebody is, it's taking like the sheer force of their fucking will to get in touch with their vulnerability and to say things like, I want you, I love you, I think about you, I have passion for you. This is not easy for you. Okay? You'd rather show through caring and loving and nurturing and being supportive. But the other person has a much higher demonstration value than you do. I need you to show me through love and passion and using words. Again, reverse energy says it applies. Somebody does not want the other thing to be over. Somebody needs more. You're getting in touch with your feelings, but it's hard. It's a struggle thing. It's a vulnerability thing. Ugh. Mm. Three cups. Yeah. You want to reconnect with this person. You want to reconnect with this person. It's your hope and your wish, honey. It's your hope and your wish. You want to move it forward. Okay? You don't want it to be over. Okay? I think you're looking at the ending, but it's. I don't think that it's happened yet. And even if it did, there's a greater part of you that is willing. I'm talking willing, man. I'm seeing somebody who is fucking willing their strength to become vulnerable and open up. It's a lot, too. It's like double strength here. It might be your catch-22, honey. It might be your pride also. Somebody's pride is getting in the way from allowing them to be the fool and express their emotionality. I want us to try again. I want us to work. Okay, show me anything else, please, about that hope and wish. Anything else, please, about the stars? Queen of Pentacles. 
You know it's correct, my love. That's you. You know it's correct. You know it's correct. You know it's correct. Okay, this is what you want. You want to reconnect with this person. How far the ending went, I don't know. But where love is concerned, endings are negotiable. Even in the face of death. Where there is love, there's a way. It's just how willing are you to get to it. Mm. Some of that King of Wands, what is supporting you? Your own sense of fire and passion then. So it may not be them. It might be you. You need to take on... He's heavy Leo, man. King of Wands, take on that fire. Take on that fire. Offer, make the offer, make the effort, make the effort. Start small, go big, okay? Don't just look there on the memories. The Page of Pentacles is all about looking on that memories, okay? What starts little turns into something big. Make the smallest effort, okay? In a way that this person can understand, all right? Your earth energy. They will have an idea of where it's coming from, so long as you put passion behind it. Your sincerity. Fire. Sincerity. Living in the now. Living in the moment. Don't overthink it. Do it. Do it. So I'm at three of pentacles. Obstacles. Making it work. Will the other person reciprocate? Yes. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Actually, let's switch it up. Show me that, uh... <laughs> Show me that three of pentacles, please. I'll tell you what, in the face of love, death is negotiable. Mm. Somebody has to be willing to be open and vulnerable. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Yeah, they want to make it work, too. They do. Okay? Your obstacles. Are you manifesting enough to make it work? Are you going to let your pride get in your way? Are you going to allow yourself to be vulnerable? That's the dual side of strength. It's not just about being strong. It's also about being vulnerable. It takes strength to be vulnerable. Okay? You're learning that. I see it. You're working on it. <laughs> That's so you. That's so you. I'm working on love, honey. I'm working on it. Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. I'm working on it. Virgo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're so practical, honey. I love it. You got to put some fire behind that practicality, honey. They know who you are. Okay, they know who you are. They know you're earth. They know you're earthbound. There's no confusion here. But they need to see more from you. Your intensity, your willingness to live in the now and the moment and not just get hung up on the past, but what it is you can have for the future in the moment. Yes? Okay. Show me that Queen of Wands. Uh, the, the, the future outcome. Somebody happy. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. Show me that Queen of Wands. <laughs> Somebody's trying to contain their happiness. <laughs> yeah, they're happy. They're happy, but they're being cautious. Trust me, they're happy, but they're being cautious. Okay? I know you get that. Your earth energy. This person's very happy and very strong Leo here. Y'all just exuding sun and passion all over the place. Okay? But yes. They are cautiously happy, but very happy. More happy than they're allowing themselves to be. And Queen of Wands, they're receiving your attention as well, okay? Manifest, work on it, put yourself out there, okay? Show me the Four of Wands, your underlying energy. They're cautiously happy. <laughs> oh, Virgo, I'm so happy. You know, I mean, it's nice to hear from you. <laughs> Show me that Four of Wands, please. Show me that Four of Wands, please. Okay, all right. How so? Show me the Ten of Wands, please. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. Yeah, if you want, honey, if you want to be happy with this person, they're pursuit, you're going to have to take the burden of this. You have to. It's the Three of Wands over the Ten of Wands. You're going to have to assume the burden of this for the reconnection. It's, uh, that's why it's all the much more difficult for you to get in touch with your emotionality. Okay. You know that the, the brunt of this reconnection responsibility is falling on you. It's not going to be on them. I see your process. I see you confronting yourself with your emotionality and knowing that you need to show more and work on it and show that vulnerability. So you are anticipating the burden of this. Burden not as in work, but you anticipating to take the brunt of this labor. Okay. In order to pursue that happiness. All right. It's you. You know you got to do it. And that's one of the reasons why it's so hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, they're very happy to hear from you again. Um, they will be cautious, but I tell you, they're all but bursting at the seams to reconnect with you. Okay? It is your hope and wish brought to life. All right? Yep, there's the communication. You're doing the judgment thing. It's a comeback call for the reconnection, the Ace of Pentacles. It's all here. Yeah, it's all here. It's And it's happening if you let it. It's happening if you let it. Okay? All right, Virgo, honey, I hope this was helpful to you. Comment as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Take care. Be well.